All right, guys, hey, here is this property that we are going to put in today. It's 4128 23rd Avenue, and that is in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, the owner's name is Zach, and we're gonna find this property down here. I'm not gonna go through the, uh, the uh, multipliers that we provided for different parts of the country. So, all right, guys, here we are. We are uh, into the ARV with, as, as provided by REP. So we have an average sold price of the property selected down here of 135,833. Square footage comparison is 121,000 and the Zestimate is 138. So wow, so we're, uh, we're, we're close, we're right in there. And knowing this neighborhood, that is pretty accurate. So uh, in looking at these comps, let's see, 4306, 4036, 28, um, you know, that's a f only five, six blocks away. 24th Avenue, very close. So this is 0.29 miles. Sold date was last October. Okay, that's still good. As you can see up here, our property is built in 1953. It's a 3-1, 952 square feet. This is a really good comp in essence because you know we just don't know the condition, especially for that sold price of 85. That's that's uh, that's a trigger for me. That's an alarm because um, I don't know what condition. We'll have to check that out uh, either on Zillow or on the MLS. So this one, 1960, 1957, 3122. Um, we're getting into that half mile away range. So 146, 176. Um, we don't want to get into the red here where they're miles away. So you can see down on the map what it's what it's pulling. So it's pulling these um, you know, that are on the other side of the park, but we're all on the same side of Washington Road. You know, as soon as you cross a major road, things start to change. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, and put an ARV in, but not before we put in a, uh, you know, our own comps that we do our due diligence on. So I'm going to move over to this other screen and show you the comps that I would run as well. And from there, okay. All right. So now you're seeing this as a whole, I'm going to go in and put the same thing, see if we can, uh, Forty-one twenty-eight twenty-third Avenue. Okay, and it is not finding any at all in here. So uh, that means that, which is good. It's interesting. Um, REP found this property. Okay, with uh, based on public records, but you can see here that there's no sold. There's no data whatsoever but at least we found it in, uh, in REP versus in the, um, in the MLS, we're actually not finding it. So we'd actually have to go into tax records to go and find that property. So uh, in, that's, that's very interesting just because it's, it's something that, you know, we already have data in REP that we're looking at a three one, you know, 952 square feet. So uh, I'm going to find something that is a comp that's close to, you know, we already have data on this house. So I'm going to look that up because we can still pull our radius on that. So this is actually a really good exercise to show you, you know, if you come and hit a wall real quick, 4036, and that is 28th Avenue, and there it is, Kenosha. So we're gonna click on that one. All right, and as we see here, it does show, uh, list price was 89.9, so I'm gonna assume that with the photos of this house, but it's it's not in killer shape. We have 14 pictures, okay, yep. It is empty, okay, old kitchen, laminate tops, basic appliances, old tile, bathrooms, eh, newer cultured marble, white on white, 50 bucks for that top. Okay, so pretty basic, looks like a rental. I mean, these less than a thousand square feet, okay? So we're actually gonna, pull a, uh, we're gonna do a um, comparison on this. So we're gonna go back and do a full search on this and we're gonna go active and solds, single family. 
And then I'm, go I'm not gonna go through any of putting all of this in. We're just gonna put it on a map. Um, show the listing date as far as when this was listed to today, that's, that's fine. Sold dates, we're gonna go back. We'll just go back a year in this right now. And so with that, we have 66,000 results you see, but now we're gonna go and pin this in the map. We have to find this property. So we were 4036. Four, zero, All right. Oh, 36. 4036. 28th Avenue. And that is in Wisconsin. We don't need the zip, it will locate that now and we can pull a radius search. Let's do a, we found those two in the half mile radius. I'm actually gonna bring that down to 0 0.3. Let's create this radius. And this is, we have nine matches, okay? So much better here that we're looking at. Okay, and so now with, with what we have up, for what we're seeing, wow, these are our souls. There's only one active on the market and it's uh, under contract, of course, as it uh, shows right now that there is just no inventory. So this is crazy. Um, but we're seeing prices here and we'll go through, uh, you know, as far as square footage and bath. I mean, right here, you're at 1900 square feet. That's not even a comp. Um, this thing is half, this is 1100. That was 119.9, that's on 30th Avenue. Uh, that's seven blocks away, but much nicer neighborhood. Uh, when, when you're looking at it that way, 29th, 29th, uh, 29th, you're still, yeah, these are pretty much all 29th and 30th. So uh, interestingly enough, we're getting, uh, we're, we're just a few blocks away, we're, you know, seven blocks away from, from this 23rd address. So we do have to take that in consideration. So, but let's look at this one, 130, it's 934, it's a 3-2, this one is a 3-1. Um, you know, that might be a good comp to take a peek at. Let's look at condition. It's lived in, wow, and they've updated it. You know, box cabinets, I mean, stock cabinets, it looks like white, but hardwood floors, painted walls, nice bath. They look at they did some, you know, the glass tile with the, uh, with the stripe in it, with the glass tile stripe in there. Um, this was a box package they probably got from a box store, but looks good, white trim. Uh, looks like basement for that other bathroom they're counting. Okay, so real quick, nice yard. So that is a pretty good comp for us. We're gonna have to switch this up and shift into the um, Dropbox folder that I have for pictures. Since we decided, once we saw um, online, what you know, we saw that house right in the middle at 130,000. So, and that was a pretty good, it did have an extra bathroom, but um, I'm more comfortable on this. You know, here's based on square footage. Here's, here's the Zestimate and here's the average sold price. Um, it's average condition. So we're looking at ARV guys, right? We're not looking at current condition. So we're looking at ARV. So just ARV based on some MLS comps that we just looked at and coming right out of uh, REP. I'm going to go on the, on the conservative side, like we always do. Okay. Uh, we're, we're saying average sold with, with what we're seeing on the, on the books here at 135 Zestimate 138. I'm gonna use that 130 number that we found on the MLS. And I, I may even go right now with a 125 number just to see where we're at, okay? So oh, I got a comma in there, so it didn't like that. Okay, so let's save that. All right, so let's get in. We've got an ARV of 125,000, all right? Total square foot is 952, it's a three one. So we're in the exterior right now. Let's, uh, you know, we did, we did have some pictures here that, that showed some uh, paint on the sofa that needs to be done. Um, the siding looks like it can be painted. It looks old aluminum, but we're gonna real quick go through these pictures just to see if anything jumps out at us. I see that bathroom floor down there is just the stick tiles and they're in bad shape. So looks like there's no base down here. Um, painted trim, so I guess that's okay. There we go, it's a better picture. Now we can see that's all garbage, that trim. Uh, they've got 
this uh, stick on fiberglass paneling on there, cultured marble top. So we're gonna wanna redo that bathroom, of course. So that's one bath that we're gonna redo. Uh, trim missing around the window, some stuff, drywall repairs on the ceiling possibly, um, but generally in okay shape. There's nothing that screams and yells. Okay, so, and obviously flooring, we're doing flooring and paint in every house. Door's got some veneer off of it, but we're gonna bondle that and paint it anyway in our paint package. So nothing alarming, drywall crack again. Looks like tiles missing off here. Uh, we're gonna peel the rest of those off and then put drywall on there. So we'll account for that. Okay, basement, I see a uh, chimney that flew there. And let's see, anything else? Joists look good. All kinds of stuff, paneling. I will want to see if we can see any other basement walls. Water heater, eh, looks newer-ish. Furnace, decent, it's clean at least. It's an 80 percenter. Electrical, looks like they uh, took a wall down or something and it the box was on the wall at one point. So there's a condensation pump. So panel, well, at least we know it's not screwing fuses. Hey, we got the thumbs up here. Um, and then we have concrete utility tub, that's fine, but we have poured walls. So I feel a lot better about this now. We're not gonna get bowing walls, but we could have some cracks in here. So that's what we wanna look out for. Wow, lots of spider webs. Huh. Plants growing in through the window, it looks like. That's great. Um, we're probably 60 amp service. That looks like there's a sub panel there. So I think we'll do an upgraded panel just to make sure we tie all that wiring up. You can see the water lines coming across. So nothing scary, the old tiles in the kitchen. So look at the old cabinets, built-ins, definitely built-ins with the plywood doors. So we're gonna be doing the kitchen, paneling taken off the wall. This isn't dying, so that's in some drywall repairs. Again, okay, there's flooring. We're already taking care of flooring. We're already taking care of the cabinets. Galvanized pipe. So I would want to PEX that if I can get at it, especially since it's such a small house, very easy to work on and fast. Looks like a newer garage door, lots of dents and dings though, but vinyl siding on it at least. Okay, and he was using it, nice Harley in there, plus uh, some equipment, you know, water extraction. So it looks like he's using it for a shop. So at least we know, you know, the guy probably does take care of the place. Ooh, old condenser for the AC. Tree, hopefully we don't have to remove. Again, we're gonna paint that exterior. It's a two car garage, there we go. There's a crack, all right. So we are going to address that as well because that's a foundation crack. Now we can epoxy inject that, so that's not bad. But other than that, um, got concrete stoop issue, we can't ignore some of these things that we might leave for the inspector to call us out on, but you know, dirty, needs power wash and paint. That is an old 60 amp service. If you guys catch this, there's no square box behind it. So we will need to upgrade that, which will happen with the panel change anyway. So roof looks newer as architectural shingles. So we've already got the kitchen on our list. Some of these are duplicates. Okay, so let's go into REP and see how fast, cause I'm gonna actually walk this property tomorrow morning. So, but I'm gonna actually come with an, a cash offer in hand. That is gonna be the fun part. So here we go. Guys, as you're walking this property, we just did it virtually. I'm actually, I'm going to do it in person. So I'm going to let you guys know, but uh, we're, the roof looks fine on both the uh, kitchen and the, or I mean the house and the garage. So we saw this one looks like architectural shingles, shingles decent enough. We have some pictures of the garage, but not enough to really show us. We're just assuming at this point, um, you know, that again, those look like the architectural shingles just from the profile on the side, but so we're not going to, there's no roofing that we're gonna do. Uh, exterior painting, we're gonna check the box, okay? So that's already, we've, we've already got instant pricing. It's gonna cost us $2,380 for the siding soffit and fascia, done. Um, if, if you were paying attention, these were all double hung windows, okay, in the property. And if, if you go around and count, you know, that's, that's fine. If you basically were, were uh, counting as you went through the pictures, we know we have a three bedroom, so we're gonna count at least the three there. Um, plus this bathroom, 
you know, that's four. Um, we've got, you know, who knows where this falls, but that's definitely in the living room. So um, without being there, I'm going to be safe. It's only, again, less than a thousand square feet. So I'm going to go with seven windows to be safe in that. Uh, it's already sided. We're already painting that. So that's fine. And if you were looking, you did see, we saw gutters and they were, they look like uh, seamless gutters. So we're not going to do anything there. Um, we are going to paint the uh, two car garage though. And for a garage door, we're going to put a uh, two car with an opener just because it was, it was beat up. We may be, it's a thousand bucks guys. We can use that somewhere else if we need to. All right. Definitely need light landscaping and cleanup. And we're going to do one exterior door. Okay. We're not putting a full driveway in, that's for sure. So we're at $9,000 already, guys, just on the exterior. So let's go into the interior. We are going to paint it. We are going to replace all the flooring. That is not a high end kitchen. We're just going to go with a medium kitchen. Okay. So there we go. And we're going to go with medium appliances and one full bathroom. And I am going to do, in this case, millwork doors and trim. We could have, I'm, I'm just going to be safe with this just because we saw some of that damage and, and some trim missing. And we may just replace the doors or we may just paint them. So I've got that in both. It's a, it's a number we can use again, especially with those cracks in the basement or the one crack that we saw. We will we'll definitely be able to use that somewhere. So don't short yourself. Would you rather when you're guessing, in essence, be be on the, on, the, on the high side or the low side. So we don't want to lose the deal, but we still want to cover ourselves and we already saw the damage. So I'm putting framing and drywall repairs for what we saw with the paneling and the, uh, the ceiling that we need to do. So we're not going to do a basement finish or a rec room down there. So that is something that we're just going to stop there. There's no reason to do that, especially with uh, what we're getting for this house in this neighborhood. So um, Furnace, that looks pretty decent. It's that uh, I'm going to do AC though, just because, you know, that the condenser looked bad and, you know, the, the furnace did look newer. So we're just, uh, we're just going to add AC and, and not mess around with it. So um, we are doing plumbing fixtures. Uh, so, and we're going to, since this is a small house, we're not going to do any kind of replumb, but we will be able to replace some of that galvanized in that number. So electrical, we're going to replace all the fixtures and switches and receptacles, and we're going to do a new panel. Okay. We're going to do one unit of demo. It's not that bad. It's the kitchen and it's the bath. But um, if we have to increase that, we might as well put two units in there just because of that tub, if, if possibly if we get rid of that. So we're going to at least have a 40 yard dumpster. And we don't have termites, mold, or asbestos in here. Um, we're replacing surfaces. So in, in this city, we're not going to need a permit. Um, foundation. I'm going to put this in here for those cracks. Those are about... I. You know, I'm, I'm skeptical with two cracks. So those are about $750 a piece to replace. So this foundation button is basically if you have any issues whatsoever, this is not drain tile or excavating, but at least we're going to cover ourselves for those cracks or the one crack. Okay. We're going to do a final clean and stage this one. Okay. So that comes down to this less than a thousand square foot house. I've got $51,000 uh, just by looking at pictures. Okay, in this, and this is just, we're clicking boxes, walking through the house. We haven't missed anything in this. There's nothing that we've missed. And then we've used REP as a checklist, a, a checkbox system with a checklist so that we're, it's forcing us to look at every component of the house. So we're going to calculate offers in this. Remember, we were at $125,000 with our ARV, possibly up to that 130 range, but I'm not going to gamble. So I'd rather be on the conservative side. So coming down to it, we are at a $36,000 cash offer, okay? And that's showing here's our profit, closing costs, holding costs, minus repairs and miscellaneous, okay? There are a couple of seller finance options in here with no money down and some money down. So I am going to click this PDF for the seller up here, but I wanna show you something real quick. I'm gonna take 125,000, our ARP, multiply it times 70%, 0.7, the MAO formula, maximum allowable offer. And that's 87.5. Now, interestingly enough, I'll tell you right now, I did not do this calculation yet. I know that this guy is stuck on 87.5. So it's very interesting that all of a sudden we're looking at 87.5 with 70% of ARV. But I need to subtract my repairs 
of $51,000. So my maximum allowable offer according to the formula you all know, ARV times 0.7 minus repairs, comes to $36,500, okay? Look at this. I, you can't make this up, guys. $36,382, okay? So this, that's, see, we've already put in all these holding costs and closing costs and profit. We're, you're pulling a number out of, out of the air, okay? Right out of your rear end when you're showing a, a seller, you know, hey, look, here's how I came up with this number. And I can actually show him a systematic way of how we did this. The, the seller is not going to disagree with anything that we put on this list, okay? He is going to agree right now that it needs flooring, painting, a kitchen, a bath, doors and trim, all of these things. And now I've shown him, hey, based on all the repairs that you've said we needed to update this place to sell it, you know, we're at $36,382. So if I click PDF for seller, we're going to get the offer details, the repair estimate, and uh, seller net sheet, you, you, this, is, this is such a great tool, guys. We'll explain that later. But um, you, gotta, you have to put in utilities and taxes and things like that. Um, seller costs, you know, if you're going to a real, if you're gonna sell, uh, with an agent. So I'm going to print the offer details, the repair estimate and the purchase. Now I can put personalized comments right in this form letter and then I can email it right to these, you know, any amount of names that I want to as far as if maybe that's a probate and you want to send it to multiple heirs or personal representative. So right now I'm not going to email this, but I'm going to generate a PDF. Okay. So here we go. Um, dear Zach, after viewing your property, goes over down all the numbers. So here's that cash offer. Uh, option two, seller finance, there's 48. And option uh, three, and get you up to $74,000 with no cash down, $410 a month. Okay. Now, look at this. We have an entire scope of work. Remember when we were clicking those buttons? Well, look at this. For example, paint. All we did is check paint, interior paint. Well, now it's going to give a full scope saying, hey, Mr. Contractor you're, and uh, Mr. Homeowner, you're going to prime and paint all walls and ceilings with two colors, spray orange peel, sand, prime and paint, all trim and doors. Okay. Everything is here. You've got a uh, sear rating on the uh, AC even to show you've got an electrical panel going up to 100 or 200 amp service, new arc fault breakers. All right. It's all here. Now it comes to the, uh, the cash offer on the one page purchase agreement. I have used this in many states, guys. I've, I've spent almost $12,000 with attorneys uh, revising this so that this is the perfect document. I love it. Um, nothing's perfect. I get it. But we have a one-page offer that you can email and get signed. But it, it puts it right in their hands. Here's the address. And we have the cash offer price in here. All you have to do is fill out your title company and put your names and sign it. Okay. I can't tell you how many times I've closed with this, guys. It works every time. So I love it. So I am loaded. This took, it, it literally takes less than 15 minutes when you're in a house. So all we did, we did some due diligence on the MLS. We went through a Dropbox uh, folder with some pictures in it. And I am able to email this right from my desktop, guys. Uh, I'm actually going to bring this. Uh, I'm going to print it right now and bring it to the home tomorrow. And yes, I'm going to have that difficult conversation that this guy wants 87.5 for his property and I'll be offering $36,382.76. Okay. So I will uh, let you guys go with that, but that gets you off and running. That was a live deal that just came across my desk and I want to show you guys how REP works, how easy it is and how accurate it is. All right. Get those offers out, guys. You have to eliminate the fear. Just do it. The system works. Trust it. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.